In the early hours of July 16, 1945, a desolate stretch of desert in New Mexico bore witness to an event that would change the course of history. J. Robert Oppenheimer, the brilliant physicist and the director of the Manhattan Project, stood at the threshold of a momentous experiment, the first ever test of an atomic bomb. As the countdown began, an atmosphere of apprehension and anticipation hung heavy in the air. But what captured the attention of those present that day was not the explosive power of the impending test, but the words that escaped Oppenheimer's lips, words that echoed the ancient wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Why did Oppenheimer quote the Bhagavad Gita at that pivotal moment? To understand this, we must first delve into the depths of Oppenheimer's life, his journey through science, and his unexpected connection with Eastern philosophy. Born in 1904, Oppenheimer was a complex and multifaceted individual. A brilliant scientist, he possessed a profound intellectual curiosity and a deep appreciation for the arts and humanities. As a young man, he had spent time in Europe, studying quantum mechanics and absorbing the rich cultural tapestry of the continent. This period of his life not only shaped his scientific prowess, but also ignited his interest in the fusion of science and philosophy. The 1930s saw Oppenheimer emerge as a key figure in theoretical physics, particularly in the field of quantum mechanics. He was at the forefront of the scientific revolution that was sweeping the world, where atoms and subatomic particles unveiled the secrets of the universe. However, as the clouds of World War II gathered, his scientific pursuits converged with the harrowing reality of the times. The Manhattan Project, a top-secret effort to develop the atomic bomb, was born out of the urgency of the war. Oppenheimer was tasked with leading the project and harnessing the power of the atom to create a weapon of unimaginable destruction. This endeavor was fraught with moral dilemmas, ethical quandaries, and a profound sense of responsibility. It was within this crucible of conflicting emotions and the existential weight of his work that Oppenheimer turned to the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita, an ancient Indian scripture, is a philosophical and spiritual dialogue between Prince Arjuna and Lord Krishna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. In it, Lord Krishna imparts wisdom about the nature of life, duty, and the eternal soul. Oppenheimer had a deep appreciation for Eastern philosophy, and he was particularly drawn to the Bhagavad Gita's exploration of the duality of existence, the coexistence of creation and destruction. In the midst of creating a weapon that could annihilate entire cities and alter the course of human history, he was reminded of the Gita's teachings. He realized the immense power he wielded, the power to bring both creation and destruction. This moral and philosophical paradox weighed heavily on his conscience. The moment of the Trinity test was the culmination of years of intense work, and it was fraught with uncertainty. Oppenheimer knew that success would mark the birth of a new era, but also the dawn of a devastating force. As the bomb detonated in a blinding flash of light and a mushroom cloud of destruction, he couldn't help but recall the timeless wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita. In uttering those words, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, Oppenheimer acknowledged the profound transformation that had occurred. He was not celebrating the power of the bomb, he was acknowledging the solemn responsibility that came with it. The Bhagavad Gita's insight into the interconnectedness of life and death resonated with his internal struggle, and his words served as a poignant reminder that he had become an instrument of both creation and destruction. The legacy of Oppenheimer's quote from the Bhagavad Gita endures as a testament to the moral and philosophical dimensions of scientific endeavor. It reminds us that even in the pursuit of scientific progress, ethical and philosophical considerations are paramount. The consequences of our actions, particularly in the realm of science and technology, can be profound, and the wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita can guide us in navigating these complexities. J. Robert Oppenheimer's quotation from the Bhagavad Gita was a reflection of his unique blend of scientific rigor and philosophical contemplation. It was an acknowledgement of the immense power he had harnessed and the moral and ethical dilemmas he faced. This quote stands as a bridge between the realms of science and spirituality, a reminder that our pursuit of knowledge and power must always be tempered by an awareness of the broader implications and responsibilities that come with it. The Bhagavad Gita, 
with its timeless wisdom, continues to inspire us to navigate the moral complexities of our ever-advancing world. If you found this video interesting, please leave a comment to let us know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for more engaging and informative videos. See you in the next video.